Well, if you think the worst of the recession is over, what's your first splurge? For a lot of people, apparently, it's plastic surgery. More than 13 million procedures were performed last year alone. That's up 5% from 2009, and a strong indicator that Americans are finding a little extra money in their wallets for a, a nip here and a, a tuck there. Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Dr. Renato Calabria joins us. Good to see you, doctor. How are you today? Good morning. How are you? I'm well. I want to put up some of the numbers. Uh, 1.6 cosmetic surgical procedures, and, and we have a list of what people are having done. But I'm wondering what they're telling you. Uh, is this a case of pent-up demand? Are you seeing more people coming to your practice? Well, we're definitely seeing an increase of plastic surgery procedures. You know, we thought was, uh, in the last two years, we s sort of thought was a kind of recession uh, cause, due, uh, but uh, we are seeing definitely an increased number, um, and, and therefore we're, we're thinking positive for the next few years. You know, I've done a lot of stories in, in the last couple of years about people who have lost their jobs, and particularly for people who are a little bit older, 40s, 50s, they, they told me a lot about how difficult it is to compete compete against younger folks. Are you hearing from people that one of the reasons that they maybe want to look younger is because of the job market? We're hearing that, and it was first from Hollywood, and it was the Hollywood thing to blame their aging face more on, uh, you know, their unemployment more on the aging face than uh, their uh, fading uh, skills. But now we see more and more in the common uh, patients, they come in, the, the world is more competitive, it's very important to look younger and fresher. So there is definitely a trend of, uh, even during the recession, we saw an increase in face procedures and uh, body sculpting procedures so it's very important to you look younger in this society and be competitive for men as well as women doctor for when, uh, absolutely men we see an increase in men surgery especially facelift liposuction eyelid surgery uh, about uh, 15 to 20 percent of uh, plastic surgery population is men all right. Well, it is fascinating Remember. stuff. Uh, and, and are you expecting to see this trend continue if the, the recession eases? Well, we are definitely uh, see a, a, a definitely increase. Uh, we see it every day in our plastic surgery office, an increase in a patient coming in wishing a fresher look. So we're definitely positive. I think, remember, it's a $10 billion, uh, $10 billion uh, industry, and every day uh, there are more and more people, even not just the Hollywood crowd, but even the regular, everyday patient, they come in for a nip and tuck. All right, Dr. Calabria, thank you so much. You're Are you welcome. leading the single life? Well, a new survey of today's single Americans shows...